happening right now at 630. Loved ones are coming together to hold a vigil for a missing second grade teacher. Yep, yeah, Miriam Torrey was last seen Saturday evening going for a walk at a nearby park in Greenbelt. News 4's Mauricio Casillas joins us now live from the vigil where friends and family are gathering. Mauricio. Jim, un, good evening to you. Right behind me, this vigil started about 15 minutes ago in Schramm Hills Park. I'll step out of the way so you can see uh, just how many members of the community are out here as everyone just comes in hopes of finding what exactly happened to Miriam Touré. We're talking parents, fellow teachers, students, all here with the goal of finding her. And Greenbelt, Greenbelt Police tell me that they're hopeful that this event could actually lead to some clues or leads in this investigation. Those gathered for the vigil will not only be coming together to support each other during this difficult time, but they're also going to be canvassing the area and handing out missing person flyers. This is what we know about Teray's disappearance so far. She was headed to this park, which is about a two minute walk from her home. She was last seen leaving her apartment on Saturday at about 8 p.m. Police say Teray left her belongings and medication behind when she left her home Saturday night. And while investigators say that there's no evidence or indication of foul play. There are concerns because it's out of character for Teray to lose contact with friends and family. I spoke to a mother just a couple of minutes ago whose children are both Teray's students. She says she was devastated when she heard the news. My world stopped, honestly. It, it really stopped. Um, initially, I received a flyer that didn't seem like it was the official uh, missing persons flyer. Um, and I called Greenbelt Police just to confirm that it was not a hoax. And um, when they confirmed it, it, it literally rocked my world. And it's been very difficult this week trying to focus on just regular life because it's somebody that, you know, for the first time I know that's actually gone missing. I've never had this experience before. Um, and this is devastating. And you know, that's a sentiment that we've heard from a lot of people out here at the vigil so far. They never thought that they would know someone who's gone missing. Now, in a letter that was sent out to parents by Prince George's County Public Schools, they said that they are hoping and praying for Therese's safe return. And again, folks are going to be out here until 8 p.m. canvassing the area, and they're going to be giving out these missing person flyers because the hope is someone out there in the community knows something, and it's just about, you know, increasing that visibility and making sure that the correct information gets to Greenbelt Police. Back to you.